everybody. Today we are going to do some glass etching. So if you are doing glass etching at Crafts and Drafts, you will have to sign a waiver because we do use a chemical etching cream to etch the glasses. Um, and because it is a chemical etching cream, we also include safety goggles and gloves with all of our kits. Um, they are optional if you sign the waiver, but they are still there for you to use to keep your skin safe. So the first step to glass etching, you're gonna either wanna do pretty much like a, a pint glass, wine glass, any kind of a glass um, works for glass etching. And before you get started, I have already washed these, but you may want to use um, an alcohol wipe to go ahead and take off any fingerprints. That is one thing you definitely don't want to show up when you are etching your glass or any uh, grimy fingerprints on there. And then in terms of the design materials, the things that will actually etch the glass, I already talked about the etching cream. We also have a stencil here and you can kind of see it's just a little outline of North Carolina with a heart. We have transfer paper, and we have what we call a weeding tool. It kind of looks like a dentist pick. So for the purpose of this tutorial, I will be doing just the wine glass today. I like to show people the wine glass because uh, it's a little bit more complicated than the pint glass. A pint glass, you know, the sides are all straight. It's, it's easy to do, but with the wine glass, you have the extra curve to think about at the bottom. So I think that showing that is gonna be the most beneficial. So when we start off with glass etching, the first thing we want to do is we want to weed our stencil. And pretty much what weeding entails, it means taking out the inside of the stencil or taking out the parts that you don't want so that we just have, we, all we see is the part that is going to end up etched on the glass. So. Go ahead and use our weeding tool. And this is not as necessary for this particular stencil because we're not doing a whole lot of like detail work, but these tools really come in handy when you're trying to take out, um, you know, small letters or things like that. All right, let me just take out the inside of the stencil. And pretty much, I tell my customers that Anywhere where you see the backing of the stencil, that's what's gonna end up etched. And I feel like that's a good rule of thumb to just keep into, to take into account. All right, so the next step is we're going to use transfer paper. And the sole purpose of transfer paper is literally just to get the stencil from point A to point B. And this does not have to be perfect. I mean, you can see, you know, this doesn't, this doesn't look great. Again, it's the sole purpose is just so that the stencil will maintain its shape while you're transferring it from the stencil backing to the glass. So now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take off the stencil backing. And you may want to use your weeding tool like I'm about to do just to make sure you and get that backing off of there because it's pretty much just a sticker. And you're gonna wanna like just slowly peel this off. And you see, you wanna just make sure you're doing this slowly because you'll see like, like the heart is kind of lifting up. So make sure that's just stuck to your transfer paper and then you can just keep on pulling off the stencil backing. Okay, and now we wanna put this on the wine glass. So this is basically a sticker. I know you guys can't feel it, but that's pretty much what these vinyl stencils are. And because we're doing a wine glass, we're gonna kind of keep it closer to the top. We don't, again, we don't wanna get like down here where that curve is just really aggressive. Wanna keep it towards the top and stick it on where you want. Make sure you're sticking it exactly where you want because it is not something that is easily moved once you're done. And now we can remove the transfer paper. And your 
you're gonna wanna just kind of, you see any like these air bubbles? You wanna just kind of use your nail to just get those out. Okay, and there we go. Now that's on the glass. Okay, so I forgot to mention a couple of materials that we want to use. So one is painter's tape. Uh, this is actually optional. It's just kind of something you want to use. If you have like a really thin line down here, um, like at the very bottom of this stencil, you may want to add some painter's tape just to go ahead and protect the glass because anything that that etching cream touches, it's going to etch. So just in case it happens to drip down, um, you know, we don't want it to be etching the glass in places that we don't want. The other thing I forgot to mention is a paintbrush. You will need this for actually spreading the armor etch onto the glass. Um, so yeah, which we are going to do right now. All right, and now we are good to wait. So we're just gonna wait seven to 10 minutes. Um, you will notice with the technique, it's almost to the point where you can't really see the design anymore, but it's not so globby that it's going to drip everywhere. I kind of call this a, a gentle or light-handed glob, and I, I feel like it's much better than um, well, you don't want to glob on too much because then it could drip down, but you don't want to put so little that you actually see the streaks from painting the, the etching cream on. So this is, this is kind of what you want to aim for. All right, so it's been about seven minutes or so. So our glass is finally ready to rinse off. So I'm gonna go rinse it off and I'll be right back. Okay, so I just got back from rinsing this off. So something that's important to note is that while a glass is wet, it will not look etched. So you wanna make sure that you have it dried completely before you peel off the stencil. Okay, so now that the glass is completely dry, we can go ahead and just kind of peel off a corner of this to see how etched it is. Because if we want to, we can always do another layer of the glass etching cream while the stencil is still on. All right, and you can see that it's still a little bit wet, but I feel pretty happy with this, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this whole thing off. All right, and that is your etched glass. And this is dishwasher safe, so you don't have to do anything else to this. Now that it's chemically etched into the glass, uh, it is little to no maintenance at all. So thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.